Hello guys, welcome back to St. Tracy's. Oh guys, I really really missed you. I know I have been gone forever, but look, we're back. We're back. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Kudzi, and if you're an oldie but a goodie, hello, 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 hello. Okay, so today, guys, I'm going to be showing you two colorful looks. Okay, shall we get started? Yay! Okay, so I'm using um, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I really, really like this primer. So as you can see, it's a bit thick in consistency, but not really runny. And it's kind of like a slight pink um, color to it, but I really, really like it because it's got this, it leaves this like iridescence on your skin and it's very hydrating. So I really, really like um, this primer. And primers are so important because they act as a barrier between your skin and the makeup you're going to be putting on. So there are different types of oil control for pore filling and all that good stuff. So next I'm going in with my Revlon Color Stay, guys. I am totally, totally out of this foundation. I am crying as I speak now because this is the only foundation that like closely matches my skin tone. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. We're just going to um, appreciate this color match as long as it lasts. Mm. So yeah, guys, um, this foundation is a very, very good one. It's uh, medium to full coverage. So as you can see, it's not completely covering all my blemishes. And now I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Radiant um, Concealer in the color Caramel just to make sure that I have uh, covered my under eye circles and just highlighted the areas that I need to be highlighted. So guys, I'm going in with my NYX Wonder Stick and I'm using the darker part of the stick just to um, contour the areas that I want to have more dimension to my, um, to my, to my face. So that's the size of my tempos, um, my cheekbones, under the chin, because that double chin is combing up, it's combing up. And my um, nose, of course, because my nose is wide right in the middle. So yeah, it needs to be snatched. Snatch. Okay, so I'm going in with the Laura Mercier, which is a bit whitish. Um, it doesn't really leave a white cast, but it's not, you know, like it's not like it's going to just be invisible. So I like to use that way. Um, I've highlighted, um, use that concealer, and um, just to set that cream into place. So as you can see, and I would like to. I like to go back in with my Graftobian, which is a yellow, like bananaish powder. Just setting the rest of my face and. Don't forget those ears. We do not want any shiny ears. So this is my Bacca and Chrissy palette. Um, so I'm going in with that bronzing shade just to uh, set, further set <laughs> those areas that I've contoured. So I just swirl it, my brush in and just give it a little tap to tap off the axis. And I just go in and just, you know, bring some warmth back into my skin because the foundation just leaves you with just this one blank canvas and so when you go in with the bronzer it kind of brings shade back so guys I'm using the sweet peach uh, palette you know that's my fave but for that guys I've got eyelash extensions yeah I need a refill of going back this week I've had them for about almost three weeks now but yeah i really like them so i can't put any eyeliner i tried it and it was such a nightmare to remove it so i'm not gonna bother uh, but when they're fuller you know they kind of look like you know blah blah boom so now i'm just brushing them through so you need to brush your eyelash extensions if you want a video more about eyelash extensions just let me know in the comments down below but i'll be getting mine refilled as you can see they're like barely there 
And now I'm going in with my uh, powder brush from Real Techniques and just, you know, just blending and further blending and further blending and further blending. You know the drill. And to make sure that um, everything becomes worn, I'm just spraying the MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime, drowsing myself in it. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, I've been wanting to get, like, you know, those um, waterline eyeliners. So, a nude one or a white one. But I've, I, I heard about a trick where you put. Um, like a thick concealer in your waterline just to cancel out you know that um, darkness that's in the waterline and that just helps to open up your eyes and make you seem like you're awake like you have had 20 hours of sleep you know that that I, I don't I don't I don't have see so I'm going in with my mascara the Revlon ultra volume but not not on the extensions just on the lower lashes because as I went um, with the concealer the lashes became yellow you know what I mean because of the concealer obviously so just to you know make them go back to their normal black color but guys I am using my very first liquid lipstick and it's red so guys forgive me if I make any mistakes in this application but look at how beautiful that bottle is this is the Fenty uh, Standard Lip Paint in the color Uncensored. This is the only one that they have at the moment as I record. And guys, look at that applicator. It's amazing and it just hugs your lip. And as I swatch, do you see how creamy that is? It just glides on. It's amazing. It's, it's so amazing. I'm scared. <laughs> So the trick that I have um, learned is to get a highlighter and just put it on your cupid's bow that helps you to give you like a, a guideline, you know? So I'm starting in the middle because you just don't want to go bang in. Just do it slowly, slowly. So trying to shape out that cupid's bow and make sure your mouth moves with the lipstick, you know? Don't just be rigid, move. You know as the lipstick moves you know so yeah and then I'm making sure that I put most of the excess in the middle and then so that when I by the time I go through the edges I've got less product on the um, on the wand but guys this was just one dip and it is good to fill in your whole lip like both of your lips so I'm just going back in the cupid's board just to you know make sure everything is nice and handy diary so guys I'm, I'm, I'm actually proud of myself because this is me doing this with no lip liner and I think it's fairly okay <laughs> it's not that bad it's not the best but it's not that bad <laughs> and guys another trick uh, to make sure that you don't have um, lipstick on your teeth is to put your finger in and just to do that then as you can see that any access will go onto your finger <laughs> so getting into the exciting part style number one okay so this is such a long piece of material guys like it was like an extra material from this maxi skirt that i had made so yeah it's not intended to be a scarf but we're making it into a scarf so i'm taking the very end end bit of it you know and um, just making sure that I cover my ears with this hairstyle and then kind of start to uh, to wrap it around my um, my head so as you can see we've got labels showing make sure those are tacked in they don't show because nobody wants to know what the label says when you're you know walking out there so I make sure you're doing it very nice and tightly. So now I'm just pulling that extra bit just to make sure I cover that uh, top part of my hair so that none of my hair is showing right there in the middle. And then make sure you gather and make some pleats in to make, uh, you know, the, the hair do, the hair scarf, you know, giving it some more dimensions. You know what I mean, if that makes sense. So as you can see, it's kind of pleated and it, you know, gives it a little bit of 
you know, some, 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 something. <laughs> So keep going round and round and as you can see guys it's really really looking good and just tuck in that extra bit so it's quite you know up there so just um, tuck it back in just you know play with it make it um, your own style if you want to make it tighter the thing is once I did it it was not going to move it was not going to budge but this is it do you like it guys so, are you for style number one? Love it. African queen. <laughs> oh, are you for style number two? So this is style number two. So for this one, we, we need the ease out. Okay, we need them out. I know they would look like they're about to run away, but we need them out. So I'm just pulling that bit that was hanging in the middle and just tightening up you know every single thing to make sure that all there's no extra material lying about we need everything you know to be intact so I'm just twirling and twirling and twirling so as you can see this would have been fine you know if there was not any extra material but because this is one long uh, piece of material I was like what should I do with this extra piece but because I'm blessed with a forehead, that meant that there was space for the scarf to lay. <laughs> so if you've got a short forehead, you might need a shorter scarf. But for me, it kind of worked. Make sure you tuck in those extra bits and, you know, just make it. And make sure you, you tell the edges to come out and play. We need them. We need them out in this style, on this style. So yeah guys, this is it. I missed you so much. If you like what I do, please, please, please subscribe. Until the next time, God bless.